Hello, this is Chris from the Cinema Savvy Movie Podcast, and I'm finally back with another reaction. Uh, I got back from Star Wars Celebration last night, so I've been kind of caught up with all that over the weekend. It was absolutely insane. It was my first convention, um, so I couldn't get a chance to get all these reactions done, and I jumped back today and I find a bunch of trailers to films I'm really, really looking forward to, so I thought, what better chance to get back, start getting the reactions back on course, and we're kicking off with a good one today. We are back with Suicide Squad, official final trailer. Really, really not far off this one. I think it comes out 5th of August for us in the UK. And uh, I'm going to be honest, every single trailer that's come out for this one, I've got more and more excited for. Uh, when the first trailer came out, I was still caught up with my thoughts of Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. Uh, and I mean, this one could be equally as bad, but I don't know. The trailers have really been doing it for me recently, and the marketing, and the posters, and the character designs, everything like that. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It's only a short trailer, this one, only a minute long, but we're going to watch it together now. I'm going to talk a bit about it afterwards. And uh, after the video, I'll give some kind of updates as well as to what's going on with the channel since I'm back now. So let's get on with it. I'm going to click play now. I want to build a team of some bad people who can do some good. What are you really up to? Flag, it's a need to know. All you need to know is you work for me. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. You need real soldiers, not these scumbags. I love the visual Everyone design of the marketing and everything. Like and the character posters on here. That is just a mean lady. job to do. Light it up! Getting people to act against their own self-interest is what I do for a living. I'll accept the consequences. I am your consequence. Batman! They warn me about you. I didn't believe the stories. Nobody does. Suicide Squad. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX 3D. So yeah, a lot more Amanda Waller in this one. Um, yeah, I'm still really excited. A lot of it I think with this trailer and the other trailers that have come before is that they have been some of the best put together and edited trailers I've ever seen. And to, I'm a big fan of like timing um, editing because I do a bit of editing myself and I'm a big fan of timing it to the beat of the music. And uh, this trailer did it exactly the same. Um, what else can I say about it? I honestly think that the best part of this film is going to be Jared Leto's Joker. And what we saw with Ben Affleck where, you know, there was immense hatred more or less across the board when he was originally cast as Batman. Uh, I was the only one who was kind of standing in his corner and was like, I'm sure he's going to do a good job. And he did. I didn't like the film Batman v Superman. In fact, I actually hated it. But I thought with the material that he had to work with, I thought he was a very good Batman, despite the fact that they made Batman kill everyone, which to me is very, very much against the character. I know he's killed before, but the like the way he was handling it and just how he was merciless and almost like the Punisher, that really isn't the character Batman for me. So it's going to be interesting as this is the third entry in DC Cinematic Universe, if they're going to address that, if they're going to show a Batman who's changed now, or because, I mean, the Joker is the biggest villain of Batman, and if Batman can just go around killing anyone... Even like low-level thugs, uh, the scene in the Batmobile in Batman v Superman where he's just crashing into it and like chaining one behind him and slingshotting it into other cars, just killing everyone. This is a universe where the Joker shouldn't exist because Batman would just kill him instantly if he was this bad a criminal. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they work around that or if they're even going to address it at all. Um, but visually, it looks great. I love the designs of the characters. Uh, you can definitely tell they've gone back in and added a bit more jokes to make the tone a little bit lighter. Um, I'm not even really sure that this movie needed a lighter tone. Um, out of all of the films, Batman v Superman, and Man of Steel and this one, I think this one should have just gone all out dark. With um, anything involving Superman, I always think you need to go a bit lighter. Not saying you can't take it in a slightly darker way, but I mean, those other two movies were just completely joyless. And I think with a villain thing that that would be a really interesting way to look at it. But they've gone all out comedic it seems with this. Very much a Guardians of the Galaxy tone with this one. 
uh, but I'm still looking forward to it. I will give it a chance. I will go and see it. When we looked back and saw the first trailer that came out and it was very somber, it was very dark. It had the, um, the cover version of the Bee Gees song, I Started a Joke, and I loved that trailer and the tone they went for it in that, but then in trailer two and onwards, they've completely flip-flopped on that tone and done a complete 180, and now we're all out comedic, it seems. So I hope the film itself isn't a confused mess of tone, uh, but we'll have to see. We really haven't got that much longer to wait, just a couple of weeks left. So that'll do it for my reaction on Suicide Squad. I'll just end on some updates as to what's going on with the channel. So... We're going to get back to reviews this week. Uh, later tonight, we'll be recording our review for Ghostbusters, uh, the latest one that's just come out. Uh, me and Tom went to see that uh, over the weekend when we went to Celebration. Um, and also, I will be editing this week, um, probably into next week as well, depending on how much time I get, all of the content we got at Star Wars Celebration. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any interviews with anyone, but uh, what we do have, we have a lot of footage around the different floors, um, some of the costumes from Rogue One, and at the end of each day... Me, Tom and George on one of the days, we stood in front of the camera and we sort of gave a recap of everything that we saw there. Now on top of that I can also add in talking to the camera reviews here now I'm back and sort of recalling what happened and address the camera. Um, I can do a reaction to the, um, the sizzle reel that came out of the behind the scenes of Rogue One. I got to see that three times in the Rogue One panel when I was at Celebration. Um, but I mean I can do another one if you want to see it so if you do want to see a reaction to that please do drop me a comment below and I'll get on that as quick as I can but yeah so it's going to be a lot of editing from me um, I'm still going to try and get on all the reviews because th at the end of this week we've got BFG and Star Trek we want to do a review on the 2009 Star Trek as well as Into Darkness and I also if I can want to get a review done for Ghostbusters the 1984 film and Ghostbusters 2 so a lot of reviews to get done a lot of editing to get done a lot of work to get through so uh um, we're going to power through it so please do hit that subscribe button it is the best way to keep updated with our content and now we're all back i think we're going to really ramp up the channel and bring more content out for you guys also at the end of this month it's episode four of timestamp zero which is the show where you get to vote on which film we watch in terms of a commentary uh there's a selection of five films you can find the link uh, on the straw poll to get voting on that one um i haven't actually checked the results for a while but i think that oblivion the tom cruise movie is leading that one so far but please do check it out and just drop a vote uh, uh, because your votes do count and we will get round to a commentary on that one later down the line so a lot of stuff happening please do stick around with the channel and until the next video which i'm about to record right now uh, i will see you guys next time thanks for watching